वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल अ चैनल वेर आई टॉक अबाउट करियर इन टेक एंड प्रोडक्टिविटी इफ यू हैव अ लिटिल इंक्लाइनेशन टूवर्ड्स द प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस दैन दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू बिकॉज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोन टू टॉक अबाउट टॉप प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस विच यू शुड स्टार्ट टू लर्न इन ऑर्डर टू इनहेंस योर करियर इन टेक Just to add a fact programming and coding has a great earning potential in the future there is a strong scope of code related job so if you have interest in problem solving stuffs then you can definitely go and learn a programming language to have a great earning career so watch this video till the end to know top highest paying programming languages so if you like my video hit the like button to mention all your queries in the comment section and if you're new to my channel subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notifications of my latest videos so number 1 on my list is python Python is very simple, easy to understand and a powerful language. For example, just to write hello world in other languages like Java, you need to write 3 to 4 lines of code. But in Python, you just need to write only one line of code to execute the hello world command and it is that simple guys. So Python is not only easy to understand and efficient but it is very much in demand in the fields of artificial intelligence and data science. According to the recent survey of Stack Overflow Python has topped over other languages like C, C++ and Java. Python is also used for web development but for that you need to learn some other frameworks like Django and Flask. Python also supports testing with cross platform and cross browser with frameworks like Pytest and Robot Framework. Companies like Dropbox, Instagram, IBM extensively uses Python in their day-to-day -day projects. Python has a great scope for future as it is among the most trending programming languages. Apart from software development role, Python helps us to qualify different other job roles like research analyst, DevOps engineer and also for data analyst. Talking about the salary of an average fresher Python developer, the salary ranges between four to five lakhs. And talking about the mid-level Python developer, the salary ranges between eight to fourteen lakhs per annum. Number two on my list is JavaScript. JavaScript is the default language of the browsers. and browsers is very essential for the users online experience so it is very important to learn javascript today javascript should not be confused with java as it is a programming languages which is used to add unique or customized functionality to the web pages when you see a web page which shows things apart from content for example animated graphics or interactive buttons there is high chances that that particular page consists of javascript technology which is empowering it According to the survey of Stack Overflow, JavaScript is the second most powerful and trending language which is used by the developers. JavaScript is used in front-end development, back-end development and of course full-stack development. So, with this information, we can conclude that with the help of JavaScript, we can make a whole full-fledged project. Yes, you heard me right. If you want to become a front-end developer, then you need to learn some frameworks and libraries like React.js, AngularJS, or Vue.js. If you want to become a back-end developer, then you need to learn Node.js. Companies like Google, Facebook, and PayPal are using JavaScript in their day-to-day -day projects. Talking about the salaries, the average salary of an entry-level JavaScript developer is between three to four lakhs per annum. and for mid range javascript developer the salary ranges between 8 to 12 lakhs depending upon the frameworks and libraries which they have added in their skill sets best place to get started with javascript for free will be w3 schools javascript.info you can also check out some of the popular youtube channels like uh, code evolution code with harry hitesh choudhary programming with mosh and there are several other but these were my personal favorite channels which i have recommended you and after you have taken some uh, like free courses across like web then you can also go for some paid courses on udemy to have a strong grip on this language and i have provided the links uh, for all these things in the description box you can just check them out Three 
on my list is Java. Many of the developers keep asking themselves like why they should learn Java which is a decade old language. Although there are so many new platforms and languages to learn today, but there are numerous reason that you should learn Java today as Java leads the field of development till today. So we will be discussing few reasons why we should learn Java today. Why Java? Java helps us to create different kinds of applications like mobile applications, web based applications, enterprise applications, desktop applications, business applications and also cloud based applications. So in short with Java we can do everything. And the second most important reason why you should learn Java is, it, is because of its community. It has a great community. Like if you want anything, there already will be a library which meets your need. Companies like Slack, Uber and Spotify still uses Java for their day-to-day -day projects. Talking about the salary for an entry-level Java developer, it ranges between 2.5 to 4.5 lakhs per annum. Talking about the salary for the mid-range Java developer, the salary ranges between 6 to 10 lakhs. Best places to start learning uh, Java for free will be some of the websites like codeacademy.com, codingpad.com and also you can take some of the free courses from Coursera. I have provided the link in the description box, you can check them. Also you can go through some of the popular YouTube channels which I have suggested before like Programming with Mosh, Code with Harry. I have recommended them because I like their teaching style. So you can also check them out. Fourth on my list is Golang. Go language is the one of the popular and the favored language by Google. So this language is for the engineers who want to enter into the system programming. This language is basically taken from the functionality of C and C++ without any difficult syntax and steep learning. This Go language is useful when you want to build web servers, data pipelines and also the packages of machine learning. So let me tell you one thing, Golang does not involve crazy programming syntaxes like other programming languages. It is very simple, easy to understand. Golang intentionally removes two important OOP concept like uh, uh, no classes, no inheritance. So no classes because it works with the packages and no inheritance concept because of the complexity which get involved in the other languages like Java and Python. So, so what it used to happen earlier, there is a class ABC which inherits class XYZ. So if you used to make any changes in the XYZ uh, class, then there might be a side effect to the classes which inherited them. So this complexity is also removed in Golang. So it is very easy to write code in Golang and very easy to maintain as well. Companies like Google, Uber and SoundCloud are using uh, Golang in their day-to-day -day projects. Talking about the salaries, the average salary of a Golang developer in entry level is uh, between 3 to 4 lakhs and for the mid-level Golang developer the salary ranges between uh, 6 to 12 lakhs per annum. on my list is Swift. Swift is basically for application development. If you want to become a iOS developer, then Swift is best for you. Yes, if you have got interest in iOS and macOS, then you can definitely go and learn Swift because most of the programming and application development is done using Swift programming. Swift is all about collaborations. Swift is an open source and it can be found at swift.org. Swift is still so young that developers are still creating and innovating every day. So there is a large possibility of new features and innovations within this language. Best places to start learning Swift for free will be first check out its official website swift.org then you can check YouTube channels like uh, Code with Chris and also there is a crash course from a free code camp which is also available on YouTube and you can also go through some of the paid courses on Udemy. I have provided all the links in the description box. You can check them out. So in this video, I have talked about top programming languages to learn this year. If you like my video, hit the like button to mention all your queries in the comment section. And if you are new to my channel, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notifications of my latest videos. Thank you.